solve for x to see what the equation is. That means you're going to write the equation down, look at the equals sign, just keep in mind that if you go across it, you do have to do the same thing on both sides. We are going to move the 16 first by adding it, and that will remove it from the left, it moves it over to the right. You can bring the 4x down on the left, and 0 plus 16 is 16 on the right. So your equation now becomes 4x equals 16, and the last step is dividing by 4 on both sides, and getting the line x equals 4. Now, we did mention that x lines are vertical. That's something that you can memorize. The other thing that you can do with this is notice the 4. All points on this line will have an x coordinate of 4. If x equals 4, all the points on the line have an x coordinate of 4. So that means in your coordinate, the, co the x comma y, that first number is going to be 4. And you can pick anything you want for the second number, as long as it fits on the graph. So in this graph, I could pick 0, I could pick 1, I could pick negative 5. Anything that I put there, and that you would like to put there, will work as long as you maintain those 4s. The x has to be 4. So let's say that, okay, well, if we've picked the points, I'm going to graph them now. 4, 0 would be at 4, 0 on the x-axis there. 4, 1 comes over 4 and up 1, and 4, negative 5 comes to the right 4 and down 5. And notice that they are lined up vertically, because all x lines are going to be vertical, and you can draw the line through it. Let's look at how this <coughs> can also work with y lines. So in this equation, there's no x, no problem, we're going to solve for y. Start with the equation, and there's the equal sign. Which number are you going to move first? The 14, by subtracting it on both sides. That removes it from the left, and you can bring down your 7y. 0 minus 14 is negative 14 on the right-hand side, and your equation is now 7y equals negative 14. Not quite done yet. We need to divide by the 7. So we're going to divide by that 7 on both sides cancel out, and you get y equals negative 2. All y lines are going to be horizontal, and in this particular example, all points will have a y coordinate of negative 2. So thinking about that xy, x comma y, it's the second number this time. So all of your y coordinates need to be negative 2, and you are allowed to pick anything that you want for the x coordinates. So in this example, maybe we'll pick 0 and 6 and negative 3, it does not matter. You can pick anything that you want. <clears throat> and when you graph these, just make sure that you go down to that negative 2. So 0, negative 2 is going to be starting at the origin and down 2. 6 comes over to the right 6, 